Hey guys, it's Kugli again with another ROM review and this time I've got the Validus ROM on NoGAT for the OnePlus 3, so stay tuned for that. So guys, now Validus ROM you might know these guys these are from ground zero team and it is a very interesting rom i really like this because they have a lot of features uh, they have other roms also uh, namely tesla which is amazing i really do like tesla roms about valdus rom you probably have heard of these guys because they have a lot of roms and they are a development team called ground zero roms and uh, it is an amazing set of roms so let's get started with validus now what is this one now this is kind of their uh, full-on feature rich rom which is based on aosp cap sources so you are going to get the aosp features it does have a lot of features taken from lineage os so you are going to not miss out on features so that is one thing uh, let's get to the about phone page in the about phone page you can see validus os so that is the version of this one uh, validus os release v13 so that is the version uh, it is released on 13 1 2017 so that is the latest version which i could come up with uh, you can go over and see the their, uh, Google Plus page where all the updates are posted so that is all there um, as you can see this is based on Android 7.1.1 so that is the latest one really amazing security patches are January so that is the latest and greatest you do have a uh, build status SE, SE Linux status is permissive so that does info that does give you more features to change and more things to tweak in the final product so you do have that so let's get to the other stuff now validus is their feature oriented rom so you are going to get a lot of features in here so let's get to the features now first of all all the features are the first option called wolf's den and you are going to get all of that uh, let's get started now first of all in the system options you do have animation control which is from aokp so you can change pretty much every bit of animation on this rom so that's pretty cool you do have list view animation customization scrolling preference can be customized to uh, force enable force disable and also so default enable or disable so you do have that uh, toast animation can also be customized so that is also an available option blur customizations are available where you can customize the blur of uh, the extended status bar quick setting panel and recent apps so that is also available and i really do like that now it does have a theme section which uh, has dark theme light theme and automatic so that is a version there light theme is a stock uh, android experience so you are going to get that while this dark is a dark theme which is amazing and i really like that the only problem is that uh, it gives a uh, kind of a kind of these uh, uh, qs strokes uh, which is blue in color and you do have that but personally it's just for vanity sake i don't really like that so that's the main reason i'm not using dark theme so yeah so that is there uh, it does have dynamic notification color so you can be customer you can change that and uh, it will take uh, colors from the particular applications and project it on the status bar so you do have that it is a feature available extended desktop mode is available where you can customize all of these and you can customize always on extended mode so you do have that michelini has a scrolling cache again you can customize that media scanner behavior on boot can be customized you do have screenshot type which is amazing you do have a selection mode and take full screenshot also with screenshot delay after you press the uh, volume down and the power button so you do have that power menu animation uh, advanced reboot or hide on lock screen is also available dim background by this much amount all that is available and all of these options can be customized it does have on the go which is a really amazing feature i do really like on the go it does work out really well in the lock screen options you do have weather options where you can customize the weather you can even disable the weather if you don't want that what is that it is uh, this weather option which is there uh, works out pretty well uh, I like the weather option and well basically C-Clock option on other ROM like Resurrection Remix because it also gives you the battery information which is pretty amazing. I really do like that. Visualizer setting is available where you can enable or disable the visualizer whenever the music is playing on the lock screen and that is there. Customize the color is also available which is pretty cool. Uh, media cover art is also there. Hide clock, hide date, all of these options are available. Lock screen torch also pretty much amazing. In the status bar options you do have status bar items where you can customize all of these. You can even enable the 
cute well this logo there uh, that is something which you can do also all of these can be enabled or disabled as per your liking so that's there sets about weather temperature can be enabled if you want that uh, battery options it does have battery options for circle even big circle which is a bigger circle than the normal one which is pretty cool if you are someone who wants that battery percentage inside the icon outside the icon is also available now you can also enable the status about battery charging percentage inside the icon when charging so you do have outside the icon when charging so that is also available if you have uh, if you are charging it will show up outside it does have flash and tilt mode which was also available in Resurrection Remix ROMs, but I couldn't get that to work, so that's just there. Uh, custom battery tile, so you can see this one is the same as whatever you are going to select here, so that is also available. Battery bar is also available, where if you are someone who uses battery bar, you will be uh, pretty pleased with that. I really do like that. Uh, clock and the date style can be enabled, so you can have seconds. Alignment of the clock can be customized. Small AM PM indicator. Now I have set up to be set it up to be my favorite, so you do have left clock with small AM PM indicator, which is pretty cool. Carol label settings are also available where you can customize even a custom carry label can be enabled notification settings and notification settings you do have heads up display uh, in the heads up one you do have timeout for swipe up action snooze timer if you are if you even want that so that's also there pretty much amazing I really do like uh, the timeout feature is really cool and I really do like the two second timeout because sometimes whenever you're watching a video or something like that if you get a long message it just covers up half of the screen and I just want it to be gone uh, faster I don't want to swipe it away because I I do like to see the notification after some time so that's just there uh, show notification count is available you can enable that for uh, expand notification disable immersive mode messages power notification control is available and you can customize that and uh, that is how I get I got this thing not to show up in the status bar breathing notifications are also available uh, I recently stopped using it because just I I didn't really like it because it just it takes away from the experience of it i guess so in this quick setting panel you do have header customization where you can customize the icon you can in, you can disable the uh edit icon you can disable the setting shortcut you can also disable the multi-user selection so basically nothing else up, up appears and also um expand uh, indicator can also be disabled so you will not have anything here so that is there also you can have center date and time so that does give you a little bit more cleaner interface so yeah that's just there disable quick setting uh, when in lock screen uh, brightness slider brightness slider icon can also be enabled so you do have that uh, also quick pull down can be enabled quick setting uh, tiles can be enabled ec toggle now something which i really appreciate is the scroll small quick setting tile so that is an ode to the older versions of android uh, on other uh, custom softwares like touchways and all that so you do have the access of full quick setting panel which is this one on the small quick settings so you do have that and i really do like that um i wish more roms will take that into account i'm not entirely sure if that is a comment change on line agents or any other uh aosp roms uh perspective but this rom does have it and i really do like that it also has a traffic uh, bar indicator beyond the status bar and i do have it enabled that does work out really well a uh, double tap to sleep also available for the status bar it also has button settings and uh, it does take uh, the aosp style button settings or the pa style so you do have back button home button and overview button customization for three options which is single tap long press and double tap it does work out very well i do use that and uh, it is pretty much amazing i i do like that navigation bar settings is also available if you're someone who uses navigation bar you do have smart bar and fling settings for that so pretty much cool it also has pi controls which is pretty cool uh pi controls can be enabled i personally do not use pi controls because uh, i have a hardware button and i do use that quite a lot but uh if you are someone who did use pi controls in earlier versions of android you are going to feel right home with that it is PA style uh, pie controls rather than slim pie so you are going to have the full suit of pie controls so that's pretty cool multitasking it does have omni switch be and it how it is basically an AOSP ROM so you do have uh, omni switch and also recent button can also be customized you do have enable clear all button so which is pretty cool you do have that and also you can have the uh, location selection of that uh, also you can d uh, change the uh, AOSP recent mode to omni switch and you can customize that also and it does offer a lot lot of customization so that is it in the wolf's den options which is a speciality speciality uh, settings for this ROM it does work out very well I do use that apart from that everything else is basically what you'd expect out of any AOSP ROM so sims work with the colors that does work out 
loud that's pretty cool uh in the display option you do have adaptive brightness you do have ambient display double tap to wake uh all that is available battery charging indicator you do have option for four different states which is battery low charging more than 90 percent and charge 100 percent you do have that option also notification light can also be customized and it does have these options it doesn't have an automatic mode but it does work out it does uh normally take the automatic color of the application it does work out and also the ever so important uh font size and display size can also be customized and uh, i do really like that now the battery life now today i was not at the college so that's not the normal battery cycle which i go through but i believe the battery cycle which i went through today is more indicative of a normal use case scenario where the signal is not entirely dead and you still have a little bit of uh, fluctuation between that so you can see uh my phone was awake a lot because I was using a uh, hotspot because I wanted to use map on a different phone. So that's that's how I went about the day. Uh, I did have Bluetooth connected with most of my stuff. It does work out very well. I didn't have any issues with that. So you can see the battery right now. Uh, at the end of the day, I got about 40% of battery, which is pretty good uh, i do appreciate the battle life which i get with that uh, so I, I i'm very impressed with the battle life of course now it also has the gesture control now this one is right now wiped out because i am using the theme that does mess with a few things but this does have substrate and support so you are going to be able to theme to your heart's content to with any other theme which you like so that's also available now this is for the double tap uh power button for camera functionality you can enable or disable that oneplus boot dose is available for hand wave and pocket mode so that is also available which is basically the ambient display sensor uh, screen of gestures are available and this one is the usb style so you do have options to select uh, applications or any other action so you are not limited to just camera or flashlight you do have that but the gestures are sim still similar so that is there notification slider is available and you can enable that it does work out and that is something which i really appreciate swap buttons is available and i have swapped it because normally this is the overview button and this is the back button i didn't want that so i swapped it back to the normal oneplus layout so that does work out now the security stuff which uh, something which i want to talk about is the quick unlock feature now uh, i have a pin enabled with fingerprint fingerprint is really fast it does work out it is cap sources so uh, any cap rom which i've used it's lightning quick i didn't have any issues i didn't have any misfires yet uh, it does work out very well but the quick unlock only works for four digit pin codes uh I have a six digit pin code and I had to go to, uh, I, I didn't really read this and I had to go to touch, uh, team win recovery and delete the lock screen, uh, dot DB file to get back into my ROM. So keep that in mind. If you have a pin code more than four digit, well, you probably can't use quick unlock. So that's just there. Apart from that, everything else is basically same in the developer option. Uh, you do have all the features that you would expect. Stay awake is available. OEM unlock, uh, RGB mode is available, but doesn't really work. Uh, I don't really use that. Uh, ADB mode, all that is available. Automatic system updates, that is a Lionogen feature, I believe. So that's not there. Um, also, the animation scale is set at 0.6. So that is also available. And it is a scale rather than just a uh, selection so that's something which i really like and you do have uh, control over it and i really do like that that's something which i really do appreciate from other roms which the only gives you a selection screen so i guess that much is it in the settings menu um and due to benchmark score again what you would expect out of a, a USB calf based ROM about 152,000 or 154,000 uh, depending on the time of the day i believe more than 150,000 is a guarantee so you are going to get a good amount of battle life uh, and good amount of uh, performance out of it uh, battle life kind of there but in my experience it is almost similar to a Lions OS 14.1 ROM so nothing special there uh, apart from that uh, there aren't many stuff there uh, it does I mean in typical ground zero fashion it does have the uh, kernel tweaker which from the ground zero ground zero rom uh development so you do have that kernel tweaker so you can see that gzr kernel tweaker is available and you can customize that uh it is the older version of that so you do have gzr kernel auditor and you can do a little bit of finagling with that let me show you guys the boot animation which is pretty cool so here is the boot animation for the ground zero roms validus rom and uh yeah here is the boot animation for validus which is a wolf themed uh which is basically a dark wolf themed uh, rom and that does uh, portray very well into the boot animation which is pretty cool i really, really do like that
and there you have it validus so yeah that should be it about the rom um it does have the cyanogen mod camera so uh everything does work out apart from that there's no e eco problem gps still a little bit flaky that's another thing which you have to uh consider when using an AUSB cap based rom there are issues but again in conclusion i would like to say that this is a fairly stable daily driver for anyone who likes performance and anyone who likes a lot of features uh, there are other roms uh, on this palette also like the russian remix which i use it as a daily driver because it does have features to boot it does give you a little bit good battery life and it is a performance oriented rom you can customize that so it is kind of hard deciding between these ROMs. I still use Restoration Remix because I have my backups on Restoration Remix. So every time the ROM is uh, updated, I just need to restore my backup and I'm good to go. So that's the only reason I'm using that ROM till now. So I really like that. It is a very very impressive rom i guess that should be it about the rom then hope you guys like the video please share, subscribe like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye